Hi everyone and welcome to week 27. I've been noticing a few posts on our forums lately with people asking how to use external effects devices or maybe synthesizers that have audio inputs with record to process some audio signals through them. And what I'm gonna do this week is show you the connections that you need to make and how you need to set it up so that you can use those external hardware devices, be they effects or a synthesizer with audio inputs. Before we go over the connections and setup, you should know this is only going to work if you're using an audio interface that has multiple audio inputs and outputs. A standard two input, two output type audio interface is just not going to work. I suggest one with at least four inputs and outputs, or preferably more. For this video, I'm using an M-Audio Profire 610 Firewire audio interface. Okay, first the setup. With your audio interface selected in the Preferences page, Make sure you select and enable the correct number of active input and active output channels. Try to set the latency as low as you can go without hearing any crackles or stutters in the audio. For my example, I'm using my trusty old Lo-Fi Alesis Microverb and a DIY Eurorack system with some filter modules. I want to use the Microverb as a send effect to add some Lo-Fi Reverb character and the Eurorack as a way to mangle some sounds via an insert effect. On my Profire 610, I have connected audio outputs 3 and 4 to the audio inputs of the microverb, and then connected its audio outputs to inputs 3 and 4 on the Profire 610. Since I want to use it as a send effect, I just take one of the stereo send outs from the master section and connect it to output 3 and 4 on the hardware interface which is at the top of the rack, and that will feed audio into the microverb. If I connect audio inputs 3 and 4 from the hardware interface to one of the returns on the master section and send some level to the microverb, well you can hear now the effect is being applied. But beware, what you're hearing is not what you're going to get if you export this song or bounce mixer channels. In order to actually hear the effect when the song is rendered, we're going to need to record the audio that is coming from the microverb to an audio track in the song. First thing is disconnect the audio inputs that we routed to the master effect return. Next, create a new audio track and select a stereo input and inputs 3 and 4 as the source. Now when we have monitor enabled on that track, we can hear the effect. All we have to do is let this track record the audio for the length of the song, and we will now have that effect return as audio that will be heard when we export the song as a final mix. I would make sure that this is probably the last thing I'm going to do after the song has been arranged and mixed, and I'm ready to export the final mix. Following the same procedure of connecting and routing audio inputs, I have audio output 5 of the Profire connected to an audio input of my Eurorack, and its output is connected to audio input 2 of the Profire. Since I said I wanted to use this as an insert type effect to mangle the audio, I'll be connecting the direct outs of the audio track or the device or the direct outs of the mix channel to the hardware interface audio out 5 which will then feed audio into the Eurorack. Now, just as before, I create a new audio track with a mono input this time, and select Audio Input 2 as the source, and I can record my tweaks and mangling of the audio from my Eurorack to an audio track right in Record. Using these tips, you should now be able to use any external hardware effects device or synth with audio inputs to process audio that exists within your record sessions. 
Even though personally, most of my productions these days are in the box, which means they're software only, occasionally there may be some sort of an extra character that may come from an external effect device or analog synth that I'm on to use in the song. So these tips should help you to do that. Well, that's it for this week. Again, I'm James Bernard from Propellerhead Software, and I'll see you all next week. Bye.